Terabyte daily vlogs. So Sabrina's watching Sweet Epic C. I just want to say something real quick. Um, you know how a couple days ago I like went on and on about like our whole like vision for Terry Bright, where we're going and what we want to accomplish and stuff. All that stuff. I mean, if you haven't watched it, go watch it so you understand what I'm saying here. I missed one very important part, part, uh, point. Probably the most important point of why we do what we do, how we do it. A lot of people aren't made to be going on tour and traveling and playing shows constantly all the time in front of audiences. And I kind of forgot about that point. But it's the biggest point, and yesterday I got a reminder about it because basically, um, I don't know if you guys remember this, I mean a lot of you know I have TMJ problems so I can't sing, but um, about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, right before Play This Live, I started getting these wrist problems and I wasn't able to prepare or anything for our performance, our acoustic performance at Play This Live because I couldn't play the guitar without getting serious pain in my arm and wrist. And last night, uh, the Gibson guy contacted us and said, Hey, I want you guys to do an acoustic show, like, randomly. And we're like, oh, we weren't planning on doing acoustic. We we're going to stick to electric, but sure, I guess we'll do a show for you on the Gibson stage. So Sabrina and I decided to practice a little bit, playing the acoustic guitar and her singing, just me and her. And I started noticing that same exact pain that I got a year ago when I started practicing for 2013 Play This Live acoustic show came back. Except this time it's in both of my arms. Um, my, I guess, in index finger on my left hand hurts really bad when I'm grabbing, like, certain chords. And all my, all my fingers in this hand, including my wrist, and goes all the way up to my shoulder hurt. And it's just, it's not fun. And when I hit a certain point, like when I'm playing, I hit those certain spots, it, it hurts really bad. I just want to, like, drop the guitar and just stop playing. And, um, that was the night before today's practice. So I was thinking, oh, I'll go to sleep, it'll go away. I wake up in the morning, we have practice. We started playing the set, like the normal set, all the way through, and it was hurting instantly, but I pushed through it, and at the end of the set, everything was hurting worse than it was before the starting of the set. And I said, I can't play anymore, I gotta take a break. And I kinda like broke down, because it was the first time in a while that this pain has been back. I thought I shook it, I thought it was gone for good, but it's back again. Um, and I'm almost starting to think it's because of the position I'm in when I play acoustic guitar, because the body is, protrudes out more, so I kind of have to tilt my wrist a certain way, and I have to have my, um, this hand has to be further out too, so I feel like it probably puts more stress on my joints or something, but the pain I get is definitely, like, there's no swelling or anything, it's definitely, like, a nerve-type pain, so I'm pinching a nerve somewhere, so I'm sure whatever I'm doing is pinching something. I don't think I have carpal tunnel, um, because... I'd be able to reproduce the symptoms pretty easily. It only happens for certain things randomly at weird times. I mean, it could be a coincidence. Um, I did accidentally crack my neck yesterday, which I've been trying to avoid. And for some reason, when I crack my neck, weird things happen with my body. I just have, I, just, I swear, I just have like really sensitive nerves in places that can't be jumbled around. Otherwise, weird things happen to my body. And you would not believe the pain that I go through. Like it, it looks fine because like there's no swelling, like, like I said. But nerve pain sucks. It could be like burning one second and then the next second it's like really sore feeling and, and the next second like you feel like you can't use your muscles then all of a sudden it's like tingly. It's just like really weird sensations and no one wants to deal with this crap. Anyway, what I'm saying is like that's why instead of playing acoustic for that like acoustic, I mean acoustic guitar for that little acoustic session you saw, I was on the cajon because I found that that made my wrist hurt less. I could kind of get through playing electric guitar because it's so close to my body and it's got a strum. I don't have to strum as hard, I don't have to push down as hard with my fret hand. So I can kind of get through but it definitely hurts and I kind of lose focus just thinking about okay I got to get through this and play the right chords without like stopping and it's kind of hard for me to focus on anything other than just playing the song. But Long story short, I don't think I'm built to go on tour. If I somehow figure out what's wrong with me and I, I know how to fix it for sure, then I'll be on, on, I'll be built to do it. And then I don't know. But even with all the other reasons we have, like just this one reason alone is enough for me to say I can't go on tour. But I still got to do what makes me happy, and that's making music and making videos and doing computer things. And that's all what we do. That's what Terabyte is. Terabyte is Terabyte. It's digital and it's a band, and we make videos on YouTube. You know, that's what we are, and that's what we want to stay for a long time. And again, like I said, we still we know we have to do shows. Obviously, we put all this work in to do this show. But, I mean, it'd be very difficult for me at in this condition to go on, like, a massive tour. Sabrina hates how I say tour. Is it tour or tour? Your phone died? No more CTFXC? Well, this is dying, too.
Anyway, so yeah, I mean, anyone that says that we shouldn't be doing this if we're not going to go on tour is stupid because, I mean, I'm doing what I love, and you can't stop me from doing what I love. This is what I love doing, and I like doing it, so I'm going to do it, whether it means me going on tour or not. Um, but I would like to go on tour one day. Also, just for the record, for those of you who think that it kind of is like the normal thing to do, be going on tour and stuff, someone pointed out in the comments yesterday that the Beatles actually took a huge break from going on tour and playing shows to write music and they released a bunch of albums. Um, I didn't know that, but it turns out to be true. Um, so there's that. I mean, you can't really say they didn't know what they were doing. Um, also, uh, my dad pointed out that Steely Dan was actually pretty much a studio band for pretty much all of their career. Um, I mean, he doesn't know when they started going on tour, but for the part of the career that he knows about, they were a studio band just making music. So, there's that too. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of other bands. I don't think, we're not like starting something new with the fact that we make our own stuff, we produce our own things, we make our own music videos, we do everything ourselves, and you guys still get the content, and you get it in a timely manner. That's where we're, we think we're kind of revolutionizing, revolutionizing the way music is released. And we love it like this, I'm not even kidding. Um, but I do want to do shows. Hi. Oh, I thought I was going to get you mouthwashing. I went to school. I'm back. We're having band practice. Yay! How was your day? Good. Not as good as Mark's. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I guess we're going to go through like a couple sets and then go for the acoustic practice too. Hey, have we told Tony and... what we're doing yet? Oh, it's dark out here. Was that full stop? What's going on? Okay, well, I don't even want to know. The penis is the head. Oh my god, okay, it's I'm getting out of here. I don't know what they're talking about. It's no. not pro appropriate. Okay. Alright, so we just did our two practice sets, and I didn't... I forgot to vlog it, I'm sorry. But we're about to do the acoustic practice, and then I have to get to work on the backing tracks, because we need to start practicing with the backing tracks, and our little uh, thing we ordered is going to be coming in. Um, to hold the interface and the laptop and Mark needs to practice because he's going to be controlling the backing tracks because he needs to hear it to a click so we could, you know, so it's all on time. Yeah, and now, I don't know, there's so much going on, my brain's freaking out, but it's awesome. I'm, I'm getting so freaking excited for Playlist. This is going to be so freaking fun. We might even play another acoustic set on Saturday, so for full screen, but we're not sure because we don't know when our meetup is, um, we haven't been told yet. And I'm sure they're still trying to sort the schedule out from all these different YouTubers. And I'm thinking we're gonna try and make little cards to pass out to people to tell us, tell them when we're playing, because a lot of people probably don't know who we are. And if we say like, oh, we're gonna be playing as a full rock band at this time, blah blah blah, like they be, they might be a little more interested to see us. <sighs> okay, I'm out of breath. How do I scroll through the sounds? Huh? How do I scroll through the sounds? They do vlogs. I know. How do you know? Oh, wait, oh yeah, we showed you. Yeah. Right? You're stupid. <laughs> I like bright stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, do you, you don't need to practice with your piano, right? Or do you? Cause that, yeah, you don't need to if practice. If I can play it on this, I can play it on my piano. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I mean, no, no offense, they're just not weighted, so it's like, I feel like I'm... Oh, it's a piece of shit. No, it is. It's <laughs> right. right. a floppy drive. What are you talking about? Does that have a drop? Yeah, Hope right on there. What, what's that? I don't use one. Well, hi! I'm just going to talk. What? Uh, I can't what say, I can't talk right now. I have a lisp. What's the order? <laughs> uh, what's the order? What? What's the order? You having uh, fun? Yeah, so much yeah. fun. Decisions, mm -hmm. my own path. And then, what are we doing? Hard time and all that kind of Play Piano Man. Alright, are you ready? Someone said, every time Mark plays piano, he's wearing a white shirt. That's not true today. Oh, you broke it. Someone said that. Yeah, in the vlog yesterday. My own path. Why would we do my own path first? Because I suck at singing that first. I keep saying that. I've already two good decisions to I keep saying this is a good song for me to first. Alright, so decisions, my own path. 
Harbor Heart and then Hard Attack or what? Do you want Hard Attack be last or Hard Heart? No, Hard Attack. No, 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 what? Hard Attack. Alright. Is there a, a key change? Is there a, a different key? Oh, okay. I got my first petty last week with Sabrina. Did you have a good time? Did you like it? Yeah. They put it. Yeah. And they put it. Nuh-uh. We should go together. So this is what the Vietnamese do it the best. So. No, we're okay. relaxed, yeah. Wow, What's and they like, yeah. they did it kind of pointy. Yeah, they're oh, really I pointy. Do you want to go for pretty words? Let's try it. Here's a four count. I'm always the guy. You pay me. Let's leave it on mark. Am I doing it? Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
I really, to Terrible. play that, we'd have to cut that whole bridge. So from yeah, the end of the second chorus all the way up to where that the filtered guitar comes in when we play it the other way. <laughs>
Quédate así.